During his first State of the Union since Republicans took control of the House, President Biden called on both parties to work together. But judging from the fireworks, they've got a long way to go. And this moment is getting a lot of attention. It's when Mitt Romney confronted Truth Challenge Congressman George Santos and called him an embarrassment. We're now learning exactly what Senator Mitt Romney told George Santos at the State of the Union address. And it got really nasty. You ought to be embarrassed, scolded Romney. <laughs> the embattled New York congressman and admitted compulsive liar says Romney called him an ass. And he fired back, you're a bigger blank. He shouldn't have been there. He's a sick puppy. Uh, he, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be there. Afterwards, Romney told reporters he took exception to Santos standing right in the aisle, greeting everyone like he was the prom king. And given the fact that he's under ethics investigation, he should be sitting in the back row and staying quiet. Santos is hitting back today. I'm never going to shut up and go to the back of the room, and I think it's reprehensible that the senator would say such a thing to me in the demeaning way he said it. Bad manners was the order of the night. In fact, America has never seen anything like it. This may have been the rowdiest State of the Union in history. Republicans at points jeering and heckling at the president. Hardline Republicans yelled at the president. Anybody who Firebrand Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene called him a liar. Look. Her cream coat with its fluffy fur collar is getting a lot of attention with social media wits comparing her to Cruella DeVille. I was distracted by Marjorie Taylor Greene's jacket. Oh my God. It looked, like she, it looked like she skinned my puppy. Also dressed to impress, independent Arizona Senator Kristen Sinema. She wore a bright yellow figure-hugging evening gown with giant ruffle sleeves. Wow, she really stood out in a sea of dark suits. Her outfit was mocked in memes. Who wore it better, Kristen Cinema or Tweety Bird? Bernie Sanders also stood out, but for an entirely different reason. The 81-year-old senator appeared to be the only spectator wearing a mask last night. And many couldn't help but notice Speaker Kevin McCarthy sitting behind the president with a scowl on his face. And a brouhaha erupted when the first lady appeared to kiss the second gentleman on the lips. From this angle, it sure looked like Doug Emhoff, the Veep's husband, locked lips with Dr. Jill Biden. You be the judge. It wasn't all raucous discord. There were moments of gravitas. Join us tonight are the parents of Tyree Nichols. The president introducing the parents of Tyree Nichols, the young man brutally beaten by cops in Memphis. The entire chamber rising to acknowledge their grief. Something good must come from this. Something good.